We're ready to get started building your CoLab and Aket paper circuit card. The first thing you'll need to do is follow the before you begin instructions to make a set of materials for each student. The directions for what materials each student needs are over here. Several of them involve cutting strips of tape or the copper tape or the mounting tape. You do have rulers in inches on this side and centimeters on this side if you don't have your own ruler handling handy. Once you've done that, you can start building the cards with your students. The first step is to use a small piece of double-sided tape just uh, maybe a half an inch or so on the back of the battery flap. The battery flap has to go right here on the card in this direction. So we'll put a piece of mounting tape on that side, peel up the paper, and stick it right on top of the circle on this page. Now at the end we're going to be putting quarter inch mounting tape around that edge and around this border that you can see on the page, so it's pretty important to get it just around the square in the right place so that it'll fit later. You can also, either before or after you mount it, fold along each of these two lines because your battery is going to go inside there. It doesn't have to be a precise fold, you just need to get your battery shoved in later. The next thing that we're going to do is take one strip of copper tape and we're going to follow the illustrations to stick the copper tape along the positive side of our circuit, which is marked with a little plus sign. So your copper tape just has a little backing just like a sticker and you'll peel it up and you start this one on this side of the flap right where it has the plus sign stick it there bring it up over the back of the flap all the way down and around the little edge that you made and then follow the path around the positive side you don't have to be super neat about this except when we get to the second line, you'll want to make sure that the copper tape is just the width apart around these LED drawings because both sides of the LED need to touch the tape just right. When you make corners, you can bend it a bit. It doesn't have to be super neat. The adhesive on the copper tape is conductive as well, so the circuit will still continue to work no matter how messy your bend is around these corners. If the copper tape happens to tear, that's okay too. You could actually go ahead and tear it at a corner if you really wanted to like that. If you really like neat corners and then you just have to make sure that it completely overlaps to make the circuit connect. If you have a little bit of a connection problem later where you did those, just rub it down and make sure that those connections worked really well. So we're almost at the end of our positive line and you should have just a little bit of copper tape left over at the end and that's okay. You can either cut it or it will probably just tear off like that. For your next step, you're going to do the same thing with the second strip of copper tape, but you're going to follow the negative line around the side. For this one, you're going to start inside the flap and then bring it around the edge. This may get a little fiddly later when we put down the foam mounting tape, but we'll talk about that then. So what's going to happen later is when you close this, there'll be a battery in here and the positive side will touch this side and the negative side will touch this side and that's how it will complete the circuit. Again, you don't have to be super neat except when you get to these spots where there's an LED drawing, you want to make sure that the distance is just about the same as it is on the drawing that you're following. And those LED drawings are in the places to match your overlay when we get to the end so that it'll light up the right spots on your card. So if you were making your own later with a new set, you could design it however you wanted, make your lights light up wherever you want. But for this, we wanna make sure that they're in just the right places so that they match our overlay. If you tear a little bit of paper like that, that's okay too. It's all gonna be hidden later, doesn't matter. We can make the insides look however we want as long as the circuit works. We're almost at the end of our negative line. Again, making sure that my LEDs are going to touch both sides of the copper tape. And again, just tear it right off. So that is the hard part. Now we're just going to stick on the LED stickers. The only thing that you have to make sure that you do here is that the LED stickers do have a positive side and a negative side. If you look very closely at them, you can see a little minus on the pointy side of the triangle. I'll peel one off so you can see. There's a little minus side on the pointy side. If you look, it's usually shoved a little bit under the LED, but there is a plus on the wider side of the triangle, so we just need to make sure that those line up. And we have covered up our triangles a bit on the drawing, but that's okay. You can see there's a plus there, and you can see that the wider side is here. 
So we're just gonna make sure that they're on like this. Now, if you get them a little a bit of a wacky angle, you might break your circuit because again, the minus has to go there and the plus has to go there. So if you do it this, that's wrong. If you get it a little bit like that, that's wrong. So you need to make sure that they're facing just the right direction and stick them down really well. Again, the adhesive is conductive as well. So that means that the electrons will flow right through the uh, sticker into the LEDs. Our next one is around this corner. And everyone's LEDs are in the same place. So if you lose track of your drawing and can't find where they're supposed to be, you can just ask your neighbor for help because we like collaboration. That's not cheating, that's called helping. That is all of our LED stickers. So now we can test it and see if we have a working circuit. A working circuit has to make a complete loop, so that's what we'll have. We'll have a circle that goes from the battery all the way through the last LED up the other side. And if we're lucky, all our LEDs will light up just like that. Now we're going to build the supports that hold up the pretty part of the card. We're gonna hide all of this work that you just did. And we're going to take this quarter inch foam mounting tape and make a border on the line that is uh, drawn around the edge of your card. And you're gonna want it right along that border as close as you can to the edge of the card. Do this side. And then two more sides. And then what we're gonna do after that is make a second layer right on top of it. And what that does is hold up the top layer from the rest of our card and the battery. Because if we don't have this support system and you just put your card down, the battery will be closed and your LEDs will be on all the time and then your battery will drain and then your card won't work anymore and that's a bummer. Plus it's fun to press the button and light up the card. It's the whole point, right? So we have made our first layer and now we're gonna peel up the green covering and make a second layer exactly the same way on top of that. And I like to, so where my joints are, I'm just gonna make the longer pieces in the opposite direction for a little extra security. It's not necessary, but I like to make things and I like to make things sturdy, so I'll do it that way. On this side, you particularly wanna be sure that down here near the battery, you're as close to the edge as you can be without flapping over into the, the back piece, but also you wanna be sure you have border because we're gonna make another little support system around our battery in just a second. And then one more piece. It's okay if it's not too precise at that corner, it'll still hold it all up. We're not building a bridge system to hold cards, we just have to hold up a piece of paper. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to make a little border around the battery. And there's a path, again, around the battery that shows you where it needs to go. It says foam tape right there. This is the tricky side. If you put your flap a little too close to the edge, it's gonna be tough to shove this in there, but we can make it work. If you have to, you can always peel this up with its double-sided tape and just sort of wiggle it over a little bit. As long as your copper tape doesn't overlap and doesn't tear, and if it does tear, you can use a little piece to patch it up, it'll still work just fine. And if you're not sure, you can always stick your battery in there and give it a little test. This tape won't hurt the copper tape, so you can put it right there on top of it. That's not a problem at all. Just follow this little square all the way around. And just like we did before, we're going to peel these up and make a second layer on top. Now, this time, regardless of which direction I made that square, I'm going to make a long layer on the top and on the bottom, and you'll see why in just a second. sides now we're actually going to make a 
third layer, but only on the top and bottom. That's why we made those long pieces there. So don't peel the green paper off your sides, only peel it off the top and bottom. If you peel up your tape, then your top layer will stick to it. And then again, your battery will be on all the time and that's no fun. So just a third layer on the top and bottom and you're good to go there. Now we have one more strip of foam tape and there's a line here in the middle of your card that says foam tape and that's where we're gonna stick it. Just a little extra security to hold your card on. And now we're gonna peel up all of this border. Again, not the battery one, just the outside border. We're gonna peel up all of these. And finally, we're gonna double check one more time with our battery to make sure that we didn't mess anything up anywhere, make sure it fits in there. And this time we're gonna leave it in there. Like I almost taped it down, didn't I? Shove it in there. Oh look, all my LEDs still light up. Very exciting. So now we get to choose which of the two options of overlay page we wanna use. I think I'm gonna use this pretty colorful one today. Make sure it's facing the right direction so the press here button lines up with your battery. And then just line up the edges all the way around the four sides. Use that tape to seal it down, seal down the spot under that tape. You press your button and all of the lights light up. Then you can fold your card along the fold, write a message inside, use the envelope to send it to someone. And if you decide to put it in the mail, check your local laws about mailing lithium batteries before you do so. But now you have a functioning card.